What is up you guys? I'm so excited about today's video. If you did not catch my last video where I did like the biggest of big unboxings of all of this new Christmas decor. <laughs> this is, this is, oh my god, I'm not even exaggerating. This thing is filled. What is wrong with me? I wanted to redo my tree. It had so much sadness true moment and we can roll that clip i already filmed this intro when that tree was up and i was so discouraged and you can tell that it's not like a true angie intro so here's the deal this tree is really sad looking and we're gonna make it next level incredible so i have all of my ornaments all of my picks and sticks on the ground including my extra large ornaments back there we're going to do a full pink and green candyland sweet shop, whatever you want to call it, themed tree. It's going to be incredible. And this plain Jane is going to get totally transformed. Because I was so frustrated. It was like the saddest little plain Jane tree. And if you're feeling that way about your Christmas tree and you want it like next level, Angie, chaotic, Whoville crazy, I've got you. So this year I have been highly inspired by like all vintage pink Christmas this just came in. I have to put in all of the light bulbs, but like an old fashioned, you know, like the old style retro Christmas vibes situation. And then I saw a picture on Pinterest of this like green and pink outfit, which has nothing to do with Christmas. This is going to be in another video, which very much has to do with this tree. And I was inspired and I thought, why not do it up all pink? Got the thumbs up from my husband with a pink tree because I realize and I'm obsessed with green this year so I thought why not do pink and green well she showed up I went crazy it's amazing I'm gonna take you through beginning to end of the entire process of this the frustrations the sadness the excitement the tree that was not working out and how it became pretty freaking epic right so Let's jump into this. If you want to decorate with me, then just keep watching. All right, let's jump into this. So if you have a Christmas tree this season that you're less than excited about, I hope that this video can help you and maybe inspire you. Feel free to replicate what I've done because it helps so much. If you are just hanging ornaments on a tree and it is not going well and you maybe have some garland, I've got you. I was so frustrated with this tree, I started taking things off and I just went ham with the new decor this year. So I wanted a little bit of a retro twist. So I did end up getting some tinsel from Walmart as well as Amazon, as well as all of these picks and sticks that I've shared in a prior video. So I really stuck to one color theme, which I've shared. So I really wanted to do that green and pink themed as well as the whole Candyland type of vibe. So all picks and sticks, very little amount of ornaments. I think I have a total of maybe three ornaments and then I have these extra large ornaments and I found these by just Googling extra large Christmas ornaments and I loved that they were inflatable. Now, obviously something like this can go outside is probably meant more for outside or for like commercial use, but I thought that it could add to the chaos. I do wish that they came in like a way smaller size. It would be perfect, but here we are. So these were a doozy to inflate, but they look really, really cool, especially by the fireplace. Those wrinkles will start to release and just amazing. I was really happy with them and just for storage sake, absolutely incredible. So I got the traditional green color and I got the hot pink, which totally matched the theme of the tree. The other thing is my tree is actually operated through an app so I can change the colors on the lights. I've shared this tree before. It's called a twinkly tree. It's so cool and I thought, why not just switch the lights up to green and pink? And originally I wanted to do like a multicolor vintage look and that's how this whole thing started. But I just kind of had the epiphany of why not, you can completely customize it, why not green and pink? And obviously the camera barely picks up how much light there actually is. I'm gonna try and get it from different angles for you throughout this video. But I put in those extra large inflatable Christmas ornaments. They ended up coming down a little bit because them being at the top of the tree just didn't work. And then I put the tinsel throughout. I felt like doing it in this order made so much more sense. So figuring out where the tinsel is gonna go and then putting the picks and sticks on top. And then I'm gonna show you the last step that can just add an extra dose of color. If this is your color theme, amazing. But if you're going for another color theme, I've got you also. So 
I always like to start at the top of the tree. I kind of focus with my favorite picks and sticks, like the really, really cool ones at the top, and it just creates, that's what creates the Whoville effect, is like the chaos and the large amount of decor at the top, and then it kind of trickles down to the bottom of the tree. So I definitely had the tree top up there. You can kind of get a better vibe of the lights from different angles. I just really am proud of the lights. So these were probably my favorite picks and sticks, what I'm putting in right now. They're like a fuchsia colored, they almost look like a cupcake. They have sprinkles on them and everything. They're so cool. The website that I found these on, I still can't believe how inexpensive they were. The one thing I will say is, oh my gosh, unwrapping all these things and taking the tags off is so tedious. So I would suggest taking your time to just get all of the wrapping off, all of the tags, laying everything out on the floor and then going one item at a time. So what I do is I categorize them. So I'll grab all of the gumdrops and do all of the gumdrops throughout the tree. That way they're spread out and they're not all in one spot. And like I said, I try to have everything at the top. I always have a good holiday movie going at the same time. I watched a lot of movies going through this. And if you ever have suggestions for good underdog Christmas movies, I'm all ears. So I think my second favorite pick was definitely these ice cream cones, so good. And I've shared this, this pick and stick was inspired by the really cute girl in The Grinch, the one with Jim Carrey. She's right at the beginning. She's so cute. So this is how I did ribbon this year. I wanna say it's so much easier. Cut it into smaller strips and put each end in tucked into the tree once the tree is done it is so much easier than having one long strip going in and out of the tree also you save ribbon and then what i did is at the bottom of that i did like a little curly cue and i let it fall onto those large ornaments so i had to actually fix those large ornaments to like the floor and to the window um they do come with extra tape and string and everything that you need so now they're in place they're stuck on there i did get a little pink elf a couple of little ornaments, but I'm super, super happy with it. I hope that you guys are inspired by this. That's why I do these things. I hope that it can inspire you and give you a little bit of direction for your decorating, but definitely tag me in all of your Christmas decorating because now I am so curious. All right, so now that you've seen how I actually did everything, I just wanna give like a final little tour of the tree. These were obviously, as you saw, inflated. Definitely get yourself a good inflator because that was one of the most frustrating parts. I thought it was gonna be really quick. It wasn't. And the other thing that I did that I kind of struggled with is I tried to hang these in the tree. They're way too big. Like honestly, next year, they're really cool here. But next year, I think some of them are gonna go outside because they're way bigger than I thought that they would be. I thought they were gonna be about half the size. They're very, very cool though. And if you want an over the top tree, well, here we are. The funnest part of all of this is that the tree is not done. So stay tuned. There's gonna be a DIY project that I'm gonna do. I'm not giving anything away, but it's gonna be incredible. So all of the picks and sticks worked out. I have linked those in my other video. I'll link them again for you guys. They were super reasonable. I did get an insane amount of them. I wish I would have gotten more green, but the green ribbon that I put in worked out super well. The pink tinsel was super long. That was off of Amazon. And then this ribbon was from Michael's. It was perfect. And then I've got the Mickey and Minnie tree topper up there. Some of the gumdrops. I mean, it really freaking worked out. Just a word of advice. If you do buy the tinsel that is from Walmart, this one, that's like the red and green one, it will actually stain stuff. Like there's stains on some of the balls. So just a word of advice. So I did put in a couple of extra ornaments. These are from my mom. These are from a friend that sent these to me. I've got a little popsicle in here. Just a couple little ornaments, but that's what really was bugging me about the first tree. There was just too many random hanging ornaments. And I feel like the picks and sticks are just so much easier and simpler and far more successful. I grabbed the green Christmas balls out of the other tree and brought them over here because it needed some love. I had these ones too that were pretty cute. So you could totally DIY something like that also just to find large Christmas balls is a whole task. And I, by the way, I thought these were gonna be like the size of this. No, apparently I cannot measure, but I am thrilled with how this turned out. 
I have the lantern next to it that I propped up a little bit. And then I've got the Christmas village going. I mean, it is an entire situation, an entire vibe. If you guys love this tree, let me know down below. If you don't, I also don't really want to know. No, I'm kidding. I hope that you guys did love this tree though. And I hope that it inspired you and let me know down below your thoughts. If you're going to do your own tree, make sure that you tag me in all of your Whoville crazy chaotic trees. Follow along on Instagram and I will see you guys very soon for that DIY.